What's up guys, we're back here, and we're jumping back into some Slay the Spire. We're going to go back in with the Watcher, brand new character. We're looking to get a win. Alright, so last time we did not do as good as I would have liked to have done. So we're going to see what we can do this time. I like the starting relic of the Watcher, so I don't think we'll change it. Two random colors cards could be good. I think that's what we're going to go with because the chance to get some vulnerability with her in a deck that like in a uh, character who doesn't have weak or vulnerable as much I think it's gonna be pretty good oh I think we got yeah trip it's kind of the one we were wanting uh, apply two vulnerable and we got chrysalis shovel three random skills into your draw pile that cost zero this combat which I don't know how we're gonna use that one exactly but we'll go with it so I think the goal is gonna be what path I think we're gonna go this left path it's not as many elites, but I like the kind of earlier shop, and it has a pretty good amount of question mark rooms, along with, was it three? Three rests, which will be some good upgrades for us. A little less dangerous right off the bat, since I'm still trying to uh, get this character down. Now let's try this one. Okay, Judgment, what is it? Scrawl and Wreath of Flames. And does that make it where it's till the end of combat? They cause zero this combat. Yeah, okay. So that's even better than I was thinking it was. I didn't know if it was to the end of combat or to the end of turn. I've not used Chrysalis that much. So it's 30 or less. It'll kill him. Okay, so we're going to do this. Strike. And Judgment. You've been judged. I love that animation. I think it's a very nice little touch. Okay. Tantrum. Enter, ra enter uh, Wrath. Meditate. No. Exit. I think we'll go with Empty Body. I like having ways to exit uh, Wrath just because it's uh, you can really get messed up if you're not careful with it. Play this pretty simply. We could go ahead Miracle and strike him. I don't think so. I don't know what we'll say Miracle for, but we're already fully blocked, so it doesn't matter as much. And we'll do this. Alright. Take it a little slower. Uh, enter P's. If you're in calm, draw three cards. If not, enter calm. So we could... Well, we, the problem is we don't have no draw, really. Like, we get a bunch of energy. Uh, we enter calm, and then exit calm, but What's the point? Like we'll do that. We'll keep protecting our hand. And yeah, if we could intercom and then inner peace, we could draw maybe into some damage. But I think that's gonna be one of the problems. Currently, we're gonna have to add some damage dealing cards. Okay. So retain, intercom, and exhaust. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we will inner peace to draw three cards. Then we can exit calm. And we get some little extra energy. Use it to uh, deal a bunch of damage. And we're still fully blocked. And then, bam. But yeah, we need to add some attack cards to this deck. Five block, no. Do I damage this last card? Was the skill apply when vulnerable? That could be good. I don't think we need tranquility. So yeah. So eight damage and maybe possible uh, vulnerability. Let's go play because we already have a bunch of skills, so it's just a matter of ordering them correctly. Um, we have a shop like next space, don't we? Two spaces. We'll take the regret, and we get oddly smooth stone. Start each combat with one dexterity, one dex. Pretty good. Not a bad one. All right, we're going to get him weak uh, we will do vigilance and then we will just kill him right off the bat I like that I didn't realize it's an 8 damage and attack which is pretty good for most of your attacks okay I guess we could chrysalis empty body and then attack attack not bad we should have him next turn ooh we got the regret though so uh, prayer gain three mo 
three mancha, shuffle a miracle into your draw pile. So this will get you closer to divinity, which is a stance that once you enter it, you gain three energy and attacks deal triple damage. But you end the stance at the beginning of your turn. So number of cards in your hand. Well, I'm just going to try to kill this turn. So I do not have to take the damage from regret. Gain two artifact. That's pretty good. Eight damage. But uh, this crushing joint, I'm kind of liking it. But I also like artifacts. What's the upgrade on this? Ten damage, two vulnerable. Yeah, I'll go for it again. I, I don't consider it at least a bad card. And we're first, we're going to remove the regret before I see anything else that I want. Battle him at the start of each turn as smite to your hand. That's pretty good. I like it. Cut through fate, scry, damage and draw. Four damage twice. Yeah, I think we'll go with the battle helm. Or battle him. And then let's go ahead and do some smithing. What's this upgrade to? Two smite. Dang. Some serious damage. Shuffle five. Could be really good. Makes it a little more uh, like a uh, feasible to play to all enemies. Um, since this doesn't exhaust, adding it to all enemies doesn't matter as much to me. I think I'll go with Chrysalis first. Okay, let's continue through. See, now I wish I would have done that. <laughs> um, Bow Helm. Oh, not enough energy. Nine. So we're going to take eight if I don't defend another one. I don't want to do that. Let's get enough uh, defense to go through here. Alright, so that Gremlin Wizard's going to really suck if we don't kill it soon. Okay. I'm trying to look. Because crushing joints is kind of what I'd. I mean, eruption, crushing joints is kind of what I want to do. However, I think. We'll take a lot of damage if we do that. So we can do 14. I can kill him. Or, yeah. And then defend one. I think that's what we'll do. Alright, because these are retained. So, we can just like, straight up hit the Scrimlin Wizard. This turn. Okay, so we can do, we can kill him. Would rather use it do it in two attacks. So I think I'll do it this way. And then seven. Right there. So he's down and we still can defend once. Take a little less damage on the attack. Take two damage instead of uh, eight damage. Always pretty good. All right, we can kill one of these. Can we kill them? No, we cannot kill them both. No real way to do that. So we can do that, that, and hit him. So take four, four more. I mean five more damage, but we have him this turn. That could have been a really like a way worse fight than what it was. So I think we did all right. Another crushing choice. I think we're good. Scry and draw a card. Uh, I think we're gonna skip these ones. They could be good situationally, but I don't think the scry is gonna matter that much. And again with the freaking big bad AoE combat. Let's go ahead and kill one of these ones doing five. So we're still going to take eight more damage. Well, oh, not eight. I, I mathed that wrong. I think it was seven actually. Okay. So now we are weak, which kind of sucks. So I don't think any of the... Yeah. It's going to take two of any of the cards we have to... Uh, kill one. Uh, well, we get the miracle. So we could eruption one of them, like him. If only I had some more vulnerable in my hand. I don't. So eruption, hit one. Kill the spike slime with the crushing joint. And then exit with uh, empty body. I think that's the best way to go about this. So, yep, kill this one. 
Miracle. Exit the stance. And take no damage. So, definitely the best way to have gone about that. Okay. Vigilant blocks us. This kills one. We don't get our chrysalis, but it's fine. It's not very useful in this fight anyway. 13 damage. So close. I wish I would put it on him now. Okay. Oh, I should have hit him. I could have killed him. It's fine. It's not fine. Still fine. Oh. Okay, and then crush and joints. We got it. We're not dead yet. Uh, follow up with the last card play. It was, it was an attack. Get one. I can get behind that. We have like so back and forth between uh, playing attacks and playing skills. Uh, preserved insect. Uh, enemies in elite combat have 25% less health. Make it good to hunt enemies. I mean elites on the next floor. Uh, we will lose the max HP for the gold Nile. Enemies drop 25% more gold. Another combat. All right, so six. Perfect right there. Boom, apply that vulnerability. Hit him again. All right. So this should be not too bad of a combat. Um, he's doing nine right off the bat. So we'll do this. That means we can't kill his buddy or we will take a bunch of damage. So we will just enjoy being in vigilance and get ready to exit it to gain the extra energy. So yes, we will do this, exit the stance, crushing joints, apply the vulnerability, kill him, and we draw draw a card, I think, right? Forgot what the card is. No, we gained an energy, right? Yeah, I gained an energy. So we're back up to three. Let's play this and play this. I was about to say, I knew what this card does, but what does it do again? And then we'll kill him with Nice. It's a weird deck. Uh, deal four damage, add a smite to your hand. No. I think I like Empty Body. Giving us, like, the options to leave our stance more freely. Then I think, does this give you two, no, ten damage? No extra benefit. So I think we will go with the Battle Helm. Adding two smites is just, like, 24 damage. And that doesn't include, you know, any vulnerability or anything like that. Whenever you play this card, add two miracles to your hand. Exhaust. And how much, what's it? Put when you draw this card. So it's pretty much draw it for two energy. Okay, not bad. Would I rather remove a card though is the question. I think I would. Well, we, we could use more energy, honestly. I actually think I'll take it. Thinking about it, because we're adding so many smites to our hand, I think having extra energy will actually matter a lot. And then the next base gave us the option to remove anyway. Who are we fighting? Slime dude. Um, I think we should rest. Well, we could do a huge amount of damage if it's correct. think I'd rather upgrade a card I think we can get through with 30 so see so we have the attack potion if it comes to pitch all right and we got this out early and this out early so that's kind of a lot of our setup done right there all right unravel from left to right targets are choosing randomly I mean yes I'm fine with that. We'll see if it does anything good. I mean, I'm pretty game for that. And then we'll enter Wrath at the end of the turn. That way, next turn, we can hopefully finish him off. Yeah, two smites. And then anything else? Yeah, the only thing I want, the only thing I wish we'd have, we could play a skill first, though. So we'd play a skill. Then we can crushing joint supply the vulnerability. Then the yeah. It's gonna hurt you, dude. I'm sorry to inform you. I actually kill you. See this is why I wasn't too worried about resting. Those three turns of setup really 
matter a lot for this character. Alright, so... Metaphysics. Shuffle a causality into into your draw power. I hadn't seen this one yet. So draw into your hands full. It's pretty cool. One tangible. Next turn, deal 15 damage. End your turn. Eh. I don't think we have enough... Uh, good enough stuff for that. I like this one, though. Heaven's Reach. Deal 8 damage. Shuffle a through violence into your draw pile. I like that. I skipped that by accident. I wasn't thinking. I was like, looking at like, thinking about what we're doing next. Whoops. Well, let's see the quality of this run. Okay. So he's doing 10 damage. I think. Vigilance. Extra stance. Follow up. And that is it. Okay. Battle him and reach heaven. Get that through violence in there. While he's doing all his setup garbage. Boom, 20 damage. Get all those in there. Hit him again. And go ahead and hit him again. I don't think we'll have too much to worry about. Oh, yay. Okay. My problem is, uh, if you notice, he's doing 16 damage. And I cannot kill him. Worship. I think I'm going to see. I just need damage. Oh, that'll work. Did I use an attack potion? So shouldn't these all be attacks? I guess this, this is considered an attack. Well, this will work. Because, uh... I'll take 2 damage and he'll take 15. It works! So... This one will switch your states. Which we're not really using as much. Collect, put an upgrade miracle... And start... At the start of your next turn, X turns. Oh, at the start of your next X turns. Um, so it's either collect. This one just switches your stance, which we're not really worrying about our stance right now. And fear no evil. Eight damage enter calm. I think I'd rather want, especially since we uh, messed up, or I messed up, not we, uh, and didn't take a boss relic. I think I'd rather have that. Okay. So, strike, follow up, get the energy back, and that's it. Okay. That. Hmm, I think I'm going to play both these ones. Reach through heavens, miracle, vigilance. So that way we are ready to switch stances if we feel like it. Oh boy, we have a bunch of energy this turn, and so little to do, to do with it. Might as well do this. Should be an interesting way to use this. So next turn we should get a yeah a miracle plus to the top card of your draw pile. Might as well. Ooh, interesting. Interesting indeed, as it would be. And we'll get out of the stance. Up to 10. Draw two cards. Oh, scry your draw pile. Uh, not much in there. Uh, drop that. Next turn. That'll give us... Hopefully, this should just kill him. Right? Is that not correct? Thinking just logically here. Yeah, if I just go... Judgment. Yeah, it just kills him. That's pretty sweet. It's a good way to use that one. Mitigate an enemy to all enemies in your turn. Conclude. So this is played last in your turn. Bowling Bash is good. Uh, I think I'd rather have Conclude. Just to be able to do 10 damage across the board is pretty good. Battle him. Ugh. Uh, hum, 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 hum. 
this. Crushing joint. Miracle. Follow up. Oh, I didn't get the energy back, apparently. Ow. Okay. Vulnerable on you. So how do I want to do this? I think Chrysalis. And then Smite. Collect. Does no good. I wonder if it upgrades to do X plus one. That'd make it a lot better in my opinion. Okay. The next attack you play costs zero. Okay. So that'll be this one. Protect is fine. That's what play up. Crushing joints. Smite. Smite. Don't need to draw the two cards. Right energy anyway. The only one we can yeah is get is uh Dex Machina. Metaphysics, put a causality. Might as well play it. It's not like super useful. Right, he's dead. And he's on the way. I wish these were there was a way to get uh upgraded more upgraded miracles into your deck. Drawn to your hands full. I think I've already uh done that. Ten damage in your turn. Yeah, I don't wanna do that yet. Just kinda hoping that I could bring him down to lethal. In some way, form or fashion. And I don't think I'll be a well. No, I'll be one short, I think. Because I can causality, but I don't think that's gonna matter. We can play the protect out. Empty mind. Oh, there we go. Strike. Conclude. I didn't mean causality, I mean conclude. My words are not doing good this morning. I don't think we're gonna add anything else. Another fight. Oh, opening with a a twenty one damage attack, are we? That sucks. Okay. Eruption. Crushing joint. Miracle. Empty body. Most damage we can do on that turn. And it still hurt a lot. <laughs> Reach through heavens. Strike. Miracle. Conclude. All right. Let's see. If the last card you played was an, was an attack. So, defend. Crushing joints. Follow up. Defend. 21. We have 8. I would like to defend again. Ow. So much pain. Alright. 15 damage through violence. Oh, I should have put the vulnerability first. Crap. Are we dead? I can't 100% tell. I think if I drink this, we might not be. I'm trying to do the math in my head. No, I think we still are. I think we are still dead. Another death. This one, I think, is uh, a big oops on my part. Hey, new unlocks. Prostrate. Blasphemy. Ooh. Inner divinity. Inner divinity. Next turn, die. Ooh. Uh, and devotion. Okay. That one's definitely my fault for not taking the boss relic. Having one extra energy every turn matters a lot. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy even though we are uh, powering through this character, uh, hopefully we'll do a little bit better next time. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.